Never said I'm perfect, so be easy. Said it would be worth it, not be easy. Shorty go too hard, told her take it easy. Hey you guys, thank you so much for joining me for another video, but if you are new here, hi, my name is Kendra, I am a zero based cash budgeter, I budget on a monthly and a weekly basis, I budget every single week because I get paid every single week. I also love to do savings challenges, DIYs, and unboxings, so if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, please consider becoming a subscriber, I would love to have you here, hit that bell notification button to be notified every time I post a video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and leave a comment below. I would love to communicate with you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, I want to show you something really fast before I forget. So this expense tracker, um, I got this from Joya Monet over at Cash Monet Budgets. Um, she is giving this out as a freebie, so I did go ahead and print it out so i've been using this to track my expenses and so far so good um i really like it because i can track my credit card um spending so if you guys are looking for an expense tracker i would suggest you go ahead and check out her channel and i'll try to link it um the video below where she has the expense tracker um, link. I don't know if she has it in all her videos. So yeah, if you want to um, get one of these, go ahead and check out Cash Monet Budgets. Also, it is helping me with stand on top of my no spend days. So I did print out this calendar from Canva. Um, I made myself some no spend stickers and i just been keeping track of my no spend days. So for the past week, I had four no spend days and actually today is Thursday, but this video will be going up tomorrow, which is Friday. So Thursday is a no spend day as well. So I've been doing good so far, so far so good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So we are gonna be stuffing my um paycheck for the second week of february and i did get paid 720 dollars so let's go ahead and count it make sure it is all there so we have 100 200 300 400 450 470 90 510 30 50, 70, 610, or 690, 610, or 710, 610, 610, 620, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 700, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So $720. All right. It's all there. Slide this over a little bit. And we are going to go ahead and stuff the bills first. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it first. Actually, before we get into it. I need to get out my denominations page so I know that I'm stuffing each envelope with the right denomination. Stay. All right. So mortgage is getting three hundred and sixty dollars. So that is three one hundreds of fifty, a ten, and three ones. All right. So we're doing one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, fifty, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, three sixty-three. Y'all, they did mandatory me this weekend for overtime. So hopefully my next two checks will be looking a lot better because 
Saturday will be on my next check and Sunday will be on the following check. So I'm happy I'm getting some type of overtime. I'm not trying to stress myself out about working overtime because I do want to focus on YouTube and Etsy and all that and just, you know, get in um, other streams of income. So me always working overtime kind of makes me tired and I feel like it holds me back from doing stuff outside of work. So I'm not stressing about working overtime even though I do love to work overtime because it's like uh, two paychecks in one. Um, utilities is getting 125 so that is a $100 bill, a 20 and a 5 so 125 I'm hoping my utility bill is less than this month. I hope March is cheaper than uh, February. Phone is 20 Car insurance is 23. 20, 21, 22, 23. Y'all, these 20s are sticking together. And the bank teller told me that too. He said, be careful with them 20s because they are sticking. And they sure are. Subscriptions, we are stuffing Netflix with 17. So 10, 15, 16, 17. Gem is already fully stuffed. I stuffed that last week. Internet is not getting anything. Nothing for investment and nothing for savings. So let's go ahead and move right along into my wallet. So you guys, I need to empty the change that's in here. All right, so let's go ahead and empty this change really quick. Right, that was a good amount of change because I think that's from the past two weeks. All right, so let's take out these envelopes. You guys, I cannot wait to stuff my savings challenges. So I am preparing to do a video um stuffing those and also i did record my giveaway um the w giveaway winners i just need to post the video so that's coming up soon as well so takeout takeout is going to be getting 33 so a 20 a 10 and three ones 20 30 31 32 33 so i'm doing the same thing with my envelopes as I did last week, which is just bringing it back up to 55. So let's count first. Let's see how much we have from last week's spending. We started the week off with 55. So we we'll have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I spent $33. That's why it's getting stuffed with 33. So now, should be back up to 55. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 55 for takeout. All right, groceries. Groceries got $60 last week and I spent the whole 60. I said I went over by two, but the reason why I went over by two is because um, it was somebody's birthday at my job and I brought them a cheesecake. So technically it was a birthday gift. So I'm thinking about taking the, that $2 out of birthday envelopes instead of taking it away from groceries because it wasn't for my house and it was um, for somebody's birthday, but $60 is going towards debt and Groceries is getting another 60.
All right, guys. I put um, $34 in my tank and I did use my card. So all I'm gonna do is take 34. So 30, one, two, three, four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this into my um, debt envelope. All right, shopping started with 50 and it now has 20, 30, 31, 32. So I did spend 18, which is why it's getting 18 today. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And let's go ahead and make sure this is 50 right here. So 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9, 50. So $50. $50 for shopping. And then miscellaneous. I did not spend anything out of miscellaneous. But I'm still going to go ahead and stuff it with $7. So $5, 6, 7, 8, $9 is what it got stuffed with last week. And it's getting five, six, seven this week. So that means it has five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, $16. Right, so that is it for the wallet. And then we have $20 that is going towards savings challenges. So yes, I am happy about that. You guys look at, this is what I have to put towards my savings challenges. So I have some money from December's budget, um, when I unstuffed my wallet, um, January when I unstuffed my wallet and some stuffing from my paycheck, and now February, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I think last week I stuffed 40 for my paycheck, and this week is getting 20, so every little bit counts, and I cannot wait to do my savings challenges all right so that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed if you did please consider becoming a subscriber please give me a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye